what's up curls crew and welcome again to my channel if you are new here i am karen curls welcome well today i am going to show you guys how to get this lovely makeup look with only using nine products okay i got this full beat with nine products and super cheap products that you can find at the drugstores walmart local beauty supplies you know all the places you can budget shop <laughs> so if you guys would like to see that please stay tuned seriously stay tuned up first we are starting with a moisturizer i am just using my shea moisture for my three-step skincare routine it works perfectly and sets my skin for my foundation and then the foundation that i'm going to be using is my kiss pro touch liquid foundation and i just love this stuff it goes on super smooth i only usually need one coat maybe one and a half coat um over my face to cover and i get full coverage with this and to get that i just put one to two pumps on my hand like one one and a half pumps not a full two because uh, I don't usually need that much and then take that blender brush and blend 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 most important thing blend and I know you guys are probably like what she's starting with foundation trust me this is what works for me I hope this works for someone else it makes your process super duper easy and it goes a lot quicker too so keep watching Next, I'm using my Jasmine by LaBelle Eyebrow Mascara. This works wonders for me, guys. I know you guys have seen this in other videos. If you're new here, this is something I love to do. It fills in your eyebrows perfectly without you having to fill it in with a pencil and try and figure out what your shape is. It, it guides the shape for you, and it makes them look very, very natural looking. So, yes, just continue to apply that until you get your desired look. Next, I am going to take the remaining concealer that was on my hand from applying to my face and I am just going to apply that under my eye line for my eyebrow because I want to make sure that I clean that up and it has a nice, good, clean, sleek look. That's what gives it that really nice glam finish. It is all in the eyebrows. Okay, baby. And take your time. There is no rush. And then I always like to start from the midsection at the top of my eyebrow. And I like to drag that back. Instead of starting directly at the front, um, I like to drag a little bit of that front when I blend that. Now, I am not going to use a brush to blend this out. I'm going to take my beauty blender. And I am just going to blend that directly into my skin. So it's going to give a nice smooth finish it's not going to have any harsh lines or anything like that so hope you guys like this method <laughs> y'all had to be here for this one <laughs> i can't post the music i was jamming but um <laughs> I don't want to get copyright claim but anyway next i am moving on with my eyes and i'm going to be using my rose from la colors it is the rose collection and i am going to be using these colors here the good thing about this palette is it actually labels where the color should go whether it should be in your crease a highlight or so whatever so i got this from a store called dd's Dee discounts it was two dollars and 99 cents so if you guys have any like marshall's or ross or anything like that this store is equivalent to that and go out to them and get yourself some makeup guys three dollars and you can't beat it the pigment is amazing look at this pigment i just love it so i'm just going to continue to build on these colors and hope you guys like it yeah yeah baby So continue building those color layers. That is what's going to give this a really nice, good looking pop. And when you are done, this is just going to be super beautiful and give you that glamour look. But also keeping a natural beat to your face. Like a little color pop. Thank you. 
don't worry about imperfections you can easily just go over that with a brush and brush out anything in those corners like how i have excess in the inside of the crease of my eye just take your brush and blend that in and once you blend it that'll give it a nice flawless look and then after that i am just going to be taking my black eyeliner pencil the brand i used again is la colors i kind of love these people they're super cheap and the products do exactly what i want so anyway yes la eyeliner pencil i am going to underline and instead of using my finger to go onto my skin i like to take my blender brush and just pull my skin down so i can easily apply that into my eyeline and i take that all the way into the inner side of my eye line so yeah next up are our lips and i don't know if you guys noticed but i actually let the foundation bleed onto my lips that did allow for me to have a super clean surface and a nice base for me to be able to add my product so i am using my profusion kit care here and i am using my matte lip liner that is in color dream and then i'm also using the matte lip cream in the color dream as well it is like a nude finish and it's also matte so i just love it okay guys up next we have our all of the light that is only five dollars i got that from five below the color that i'm going to be using in there is called spotlight and i'm going to be using that to do all of the highlight and add a little bit of shimmer on my face because i want to glow like the stars in the middle of the night time baby yeah y'all be tripping <laughs> But anyway, yes, I'm just going to add that over onto my cheeks to add a nice little highlight. I'm going to add that onto my nose, into the um, top base of my lip, and then also a little bit over my eyebrows. Okay guys, next is one of the most amazing products I have ever used. I love this stuff, seriously. Mwah. You guys seen me, okay? <laughs> smoke and mirrors three in one mascara this stuff is basically like adding false eyelashes to your lashes but without going through all the process of trying to apply it i'm not one that can apply lashes i always have trouble with that so this is a beautiful and easy way for you to be able to get that 3d look and not have to go through those steps of trying to get it to stick because y'all i can't do it i tried everything so look at the difference between just that one coat and then look at the other side see there's nothing there and that one yes so i'm going to do another coat on that side but i'm going to allow it to dry a little bit and then yeah that's it for the mascara tip do not forget to do your lower lashes get those things to pop a little bit too baby be super careful guys y'all i don't know if you remember but i still have ptsd from that one time i poked myself in the eyeball with that and i had a bloodshot eye for about five days so y'all be super duper careful with this stuff so you don't have to end up like me that's why it's taking me so long to like brush each stroke so just keep watching I'm going to keep doing this. <laughs> Mm. <laughs> 
finally on to the last step and i am using my la colors setting powder i got this from five below for a five dollars and i am just going to loosely apply this all over some of my trouble areas where i usually have a little bit more oily skin and i want this to set and just finish my look so then i'm just going to brush that off and then i'm going to take a little bit of the excess that's on the brush and brush that around the rest of my face to set it in as well and guys that is it okay guys so what do you think do you like it how did i do do you think you guys will try this i know it's been a while since i did a makeup video so i wanted to make sure i did something because i've been experimenting with more colors especially since i started and definitely since the last time i posted a makeup video so i wanted you guys to see my updated makeup routine and hopefully you guys like this I consider this still to be a full glam look so if you guys like this video please be sure to write that down in the comments and also subscribe and as always thank you so much for watching until next time bye